It was that time of year, the days were at their shortest and the nights almost feel like they will never end. Even the sun seems ever more reluctant to rise above the horizon. The sunrises are almost as colourful as the sunsets, mirroring themselves on the water. deluged with heavy rain and storms and fair days seem few and far between. But on those rare days, now the reeds were gone, the sunlight reflected off the water, making beautiful patterns on the roof of the boat. And as the sunlight moved along, it cast shadows of little beating hearts. Next morning was a Trafalgar Square pigeon grey kind of a day. And as usual, when there's important tasks to be done, the weather never seems to be in our favour. Saturday, a million jobs to do, water tank needs topping up, gas bottle needs exchanging, logs need buying, it's going to be a busy day, so you may as well come along for the ride today and uh, you see the hard work and graft that has to go in to just keeping your boat running and topped up uh, so it lasts all week and you don't have to uh, disturb yourself too much in the week when you're working. Yeah, it's not all idyllic uh, autumn flowers and misty waters. There's plenty of hard work goes in and that usually falls on my head. So uh, come and join us for a busy Saturday on Sapphire. Right, got to change the gas bottle because we ran out of gas in the middle of cooking tea, like you always do. So, be careful because it's wet and slippy today. The gas lives in the locker here at the front of the boat. We have two gas canisters. So if you ever run out, it's easy to change over. Of course, this makes it extra more difficult because it's wet. These have to be secured. So we have a, a chain with a little D lock. So we won't do that. I usually drop these in the bottom of the gas locker. There we go, boys. 
and leave that because when we bring the full one back this will be ready and waiting just screw that back in so we don't lose it there's no easy way to do this one away over in the corner gives us a bit more space well, make sure we don't put that through the crash window <laughs> there we are taken off to be exchanged come on come along this is a job we're doing in the van today for obvious reasons um, if you were a constant cruiser you would have to um, find your gas suppliers to the canal. Jeffrey. Unless you manage to get the coal boat. Yeah, the fuel boat, yeah, of course. Um, they're a little lifeline for boats, is the fuel boat. And they service, they basically work the uh, canal system in an old working boat, huge big 70 footer. And they will, uh, if you phone them up, they will come and deliver your gas and your coal to your boat. For us being in the marina, it's a little bit of a different job. Uh, we're going to jump in the van and go for a little trip. First off, we're going to change the gas bottle and then we will go over to our log suppliers. Uh, and hopefully, show you a little bit of their uh, uh, wonderful setup. And um, we'll get back and we'll do some more jobs never stops there's always something to do on a boat yeah that's it okay and the gas 20 pence to, to park <laughs> probably 10 nets so it might be easy for driving because the doors on the other side <laughs> never thought about that
moving all that wood is really hard work. Then of course that's not the end of it. On top of that, there's all that debris to clean up. That's the logs away. Time for the gas and water to be uh, done. Not the weather to do this. A nice dry day would be far safer and easier. Right. Use a piece of uh, a piece of carpet here. Maybe the bigger one, I think. Canal. There's no safe, easy way to do this. All you need is that out the way. thing you can do with that is put my foot on it. Right, I'm sure. Go. Be careful to bend at the knees. Looks far worse than it is in reality. And that should last us a couple more months before that one needs changing over. So we're going to just fasten that back up. bracket in here that the chain goes through and it's uh, part of your BSS safety check and your boat safety check that the gas bottles are secured and aren't likely to uh, fall over if you bump the bank or somebody else's boat. What I do with these is I stand them on a little piece of carpet on the floor Get, make sure we've got the D-ring nicely fastened up. We have two full bottles of gas. Thank you, dear. It's okay, Mr. Roll. Tea will be served. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> better <laughs> In fact, I need a beer, never mind, see? Everything hurts. Right, we've got the water tank to fill up now. So let me show you this. This is probably the last job for today. It's not always as busy as this because the gas only gets changed every couple of months. And the logs, we probably, what did we get out the logs? About six weeks, seven weeks? Five, I think. Okay, we've got five weeks out the logs. Mixed with the bags of coal you can see on the roof. Um, I'll show you our little uh, routine for the coal in a little while as well. We might as well top the uh, coal up. It's late afternoon by the time we get back. So a quick lunch is what's required. We still have so many jobs to do before we lose the light. Water tanks located in the front section of the boat. We've got a short hose for uh, out cruising. We've got a longer hose we keep on the top. Just unscrew the water top 
and then we'll get the hose and we will fill the water up for the next week. We usually fill this up every Saturday. While the water tank's filling, because it takes 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, depending on how much water we've used in the week, which is usually a considerable amount. Let me show you what we do with the cowl. Really, this is essential in winter. Uh, cowl wood, warm. So, we have bags on the roof. We usually have one open. I tend to do is offload a full bag into a, an empty one that we keep inside the boat by the fire. And that way we haven't got the full bag taking up all the space in the cabin. Um, and it makes it easier to take this off and on uh, at regular intervals as you uh, inevitably do have to bring a full one down every few weeks. but. I think the bag of coal lasts us about 10 days, so a half bag, not quite a week. It's, uh, it's dirty fuel coal, but it's damn good because you can put it on, leave it on overnight, bank your fire up and it will keep you warm for hours. It just burns away slowly in the background. Old King Coal. Marvellous. See what I mean about being dirty? Right. I mean, I've got two half bags. One half bag will go back on the roof for next time. And that can go and uh, live in the fire basket next to the fire. Not right next to the fire, but by the fire. Far enough away it won't catch fire. The light has gone before we know it, and darkness has already wrapped itself around the marina like an unwelcome gift. It's misty, wet and bitterly cold, but we still head out for our evening walk regardless. dodge the many deep puddles in the darkness and precariously pick our path around the back of the marina workshop. The boats emerge from the inky blackness like weary metal giants that don't want to be disturbed from their slumber. We couldn't wait to get back to the warm glow of the fire, Geoffrey especially.
you were only too pleased to be back in the warm. The bed was already made, so it's time to make a hot drink and settle down for the night. Well, our Saturday night's as lively as ever. Richie and Geoffrey are already asleep and it's only 9.30. I'll be up for a little while yet. Time to watch a bit more YouTube. So whatever you're doing, stay safe and well and we'll see you next time.